day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another fun, fast Tinkercad tutorial. So let's get cracking. Friends, we are back in Tinkercad, and today we're going to make another Sim Lab project. This one is going to be called Double Domino. Let's build the domino we're going to play with by bringing out a cube, making it 16, 6, and then change the height to 28. This is a decent size for a domino. Do set the radius to 2 so it looks a little bit more, and if you want, you can even make it white. I'm not going to add dots because I don't want this to get too complex. Now I'm going to call this a double domino because we are going to actually trigger it, and we're going to send the dominoes in two directions. Now before I do that, I do want to show you, you can change the size of your grid. This will give you more room to play. I'm going to keep mine small. You can have as much fun as you want exploring this domino project. The next thing we're going to do is make a spinner. I'm going to ask you to do that with the tube. When you bring the tube out, let's lower the sides down. Instead of three, I want you to type eight and press enter. The fewer sides you have, the less complex it is. I'm going to tell you to make the height of it 25. We're going to then bring out a normal cylinder. I am going to shift shrink in the number I think you should type is six. You can have fun exploring these numbers afterwards, but this is where I'm going to tell you to start out. We're going to select both of those, press L, pick either one to be the boss, and do L for a line. I'm leaving this large gap so it stays in place, but they don't actually interact with each other. And then I need to make sure it's lower than this shape over here. I'm going to shrink this down and we can adjust these as we play. So we are going to bring out another cube, we're going to stretch it long, and we're going to make it skinny. And what this is going to do is we're going to launch a projectile at it. When it hits, it's going to spin and it's going to trigger our dominoes. So I'm going to push this down so it's missing this edge. And then we're going to hit a line to make sure everything's aligned. And I'll show you how this all comes together. Center, center. And then these two get grouped. I'm going to nudge this over to the starting position, which I think will be right there. Friends, this is my favorite technique. Control D and then nudge out so there's space between them. If you don't touch anything else, you can place your dominoes that quickly. Now I'm going to select this whole stack and I'm going to do Control D. And then I'm going to shift nudge to the other side but I want them to be to the other end. So I'm doing shift nudge to move them over here as well. Notice when this gets hit, it'll trigger both sides at once, or at least that is the theory. So friends with it named and our parts built, let's enter the sim lab. Notice it takes a moment for that part to actually become real. We're gonna click on this piece right here and we're gonna make it static. You could also do control M. So at this point, friends, when we hit play, nothing happens. But if I take a projectile and I shoot it at the right spot, bingo, we have just started both sides of dominoes. If you ever make a mistake, you can, of course, hit reset, realign. So I just did a shift right click to orbit. And when we hit play once again, let's see if we can be successful a couple times in a row. Oh, so close course if you don't like it you can hit reset friends you'll note there's a lot of room for you to fiddle with this and make it cooler i just wanted to give you a start so you can explore and try and make an awesome domino project that you start when you want while we're in here friends don't forget you can change the properties so i'm going to make this rubber and i'm going to make this rubber maybe that'll make it so they don't bounce as much and then i'm going to take my dominoes and i'm going to make those plastic which they already were so now we can hit play and try it one more time. Once again, shoot at one of these sides. Missed it by just a little bit. Bingo! There we have launched dominoes. How fun is that? Friends, as I wrap up, let me remind you about my website, hlmodtech.com. I've got the page dedicated to Tinkercad with a ton of awesome categories. And then right below it, the first day lessons. These are great for anybody that's just starting out in Tinkercad. Friends, I also want to highlight the super cool built-in messaging. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. Friends, I do also want to highlight the link to the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, there are more than 600 
members and it's a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, friends, of course, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, friends, you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.